Hi everyone, I just wanted to share another leadership tip that may help uh, you out today. So this one is um, from the author of a book called Indestructible, and his name is Nir Yael, and he's actually a professor at Stanford, and he's also a speaker on the subject of concentration and focus. So I actually came across his book last fall, and I've actually incorporated a lot of his concepts into some of my strategic planning and goal setting materials that I provide for my clients. One of the concepts that he talks about in his book, Indestructible, is a concept called time blocking. So time blocking is a way to really focus your time and attention on the things that matter in your life. So when Niers um, sets up time blocking for himself, he really looks at where he is positioning himself on the day, the week, the month, and the year. So the first thing he does is he looks at his goals. So he's got his vision for his life, he's got his goals, and he spends a lot of time looking at those areas of his life that are really important, and all the domains of his life, his professional, his personal, uh, his health and wellness, and his financial. And then what he does is he actually takes his calendar for the week, the month, the year, and starts time blocking those various goals and activities that he's got set out for himself. So for example, if he knows a project is going to span over six weeks, then obviously his calendar reflects that. If he's got his vacation times booked with his family, he's got that scheduled into his calendar. So the way I've looked at time blocking for myself personally, and I feel it's added a lot of value uh, to my schedule, and I see this also working for a lot of my clients when I recommend it to them, is to look at it with this sort of five-step approach. The first thing you want to do is you, like I said earlier, you want to um, establish a clear set of goals that you have for the year. You've got the actual factors in the goal, like I'm going to be reading five books in the month of April, and I'm going to you know, the time bound on it is the month of April. So we know that those are 30 days in the month of April. I would then go ahead and schedule those significant goals into my calendar. So if there's vacations, commitments that I'm making to friends, family, colleagues, then I'm obviously putting that into the schedule. So right off the bat, I'm going to schedule my goals that are really important for me to get accomplished this year. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to establish a routine. So these are things that are really important to me in my daily practice, um, whether it's meditation, a lot of my wellness routines, eating well, working out, etc. So for example, my routine is in the morning, I wake up around usually somewhere between 5.30 and 6. Uh, I meditate for a good 15 to 20 minutes, um, usually with a timed uh, meditation app like Insight Timer or Calm or Headspace. And then I work out for probably 45 minutes to an hour. So that's either going to a gym, a studio, spin studio, going for a hike, uh, or doing something at home on video. And so I'll be meditating um, for about half an hour, well, 20 minutes, and then I'll work out for an hour. Then I come home, and around 7 o'clock, I have breakfast, shower, wash up, and get ready to start my day. Uh, so all those things are time-blocked into my schedule. I've got them actually color-coded as well, and it just has a recurring appointment. So for example, uh, meditation is always from 5.30 until 6, so it's just time-blocked in orange every single day of the week. Sunday through Saturday, it's a reoccurring message from here to eternity. Um, if I miss it, I miss it. I make it up the next day or the next week, but it's always just in my calendar right off the bat. So all those regulated routines that I have in my life as far as my health, my wellness, things that I do with my kids, um, I always just have uh, in the schedule right off the bat. The third thing I'm scheduling for then is now my meaningful tasks. So these are like biz development calls, um, a project, a report back due back to a client um, or a colleague. So those are um, things then would be scheduled. Uh, for example, I'm always writing content, so I make sure that I also have writing time set aside during my week, whether that's a one hour, two hour block, sometime usually around Thursday, Friday, because there's thoughts during my week that I wanna capture, and then I actually spend time writing the content near the end of the week. The fourth thing I schedule for is block out like uh, reactive time. So I always have, like I always call it either white space or reactive time where, you know, if something gets, and my day gets hijacked or I get a call from a client unexpectedly that I can react, I can get, you know, whatever needs to get done out and that it doesn't feel like my whole day has been consumed by it. Um, and I can actually be committed to getting back to somebody on a reasonable amount of time if I have to react to something because I've got time carved out in my schedule. And uh, then the fifth thing that I would be looking at is any other to-do list items. So if it's things like going to the grocery store, going to the dry cleaners, I know that that seems minuscule, but sometimes those are the things that just 
uh, take up our day and frustrate us and get us tired. And we wanna make sure that we've actually got those things scheduled. Like how long does it actually take me to drive to the dry cleaners? And if I go in the morning or if I go during rush hour, how long is that gonna take me? I just schedule those things right into my calendar. So time blocking does demand attention. It does take time to actually um, do all these tricks and put them into your schedule. But one of the things I can guarantee is that once you get into the habit of scheduling all of those things that we just talked about, you'll actually see yourself um, freeing up more of your time. And then the time that you do spend on some of those meaningful tasks like projects or biz development calls or um, connecting in with employees, you'll actually find that it's a more meaningful amount of time. You're not feeling rushed. You're not thinking about other things and you can actually focus and concentrate on that conversation or the task. Hope that helps. Take care.